Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Cine Pals. I'm Jabby Kowei, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? We are watching Dairy Girls Season 3, Episode 5. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see a cut-down version of our reaction because we can only show you a limited amount of picture-in-picture. Picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash or become a member of this channel where you'll get access to the full uncut reaction. You will need your own Netflix subscription so you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction, and we'll give you a 3-2-1 countdown sync. It'll be like you're watching it with two of your favorite set of pals from the internet. Now, if you're watching this on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. Make us a cup of tea, will you, Mary? I'll do it myself, but the Bolsheviks are just about to kick off. Oh my. What's happened here? We're starting a healthy eating plan, Jerry. What? <laughs> no dairy, no carbs, no meat. That's not a healthy eating plan. That's a no eating plan. <laughs> Why are you reading a book on the Russian Revolution? I've always been into Russia, Jerry. You know that. Back then, everybody thought I was a bimbo. No. But yeah. <laughs> Tonight's bound to be a bit sad, too, though, Mammy. All the old friends that didn't make it. I think most of the girls are going. Yeah, the so ones that are still alive. But I'm sure a few have, you know, died from old age. We're in our thirties. Barely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I got you a new suit, I've laid it out in the bed and needed to try it on. Who are you trying to impress? No, but Jeanette Joyce, formerly O'Shea. I am not trying to impress Jeanette Joyce, formerly O'Shea. I couldn't give a shit about Jeanette Joyce, formerly O'Shea. <laughs> He's a surgeon now. He took out all his tonsils. And is point blank refusing to give them back. Jenny Joyce's mommy? You were friends with Jenny's mommy. Oh, but Jenny. Started using fancy words and all. What kind of fancy words? Like, you know, brunch. What even is brunch? It's a sort of half breakfast, half lunch. Like a cornflake sandwich. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, ladies. Good evening, sister. I didn't know you were coming, sister. No, I mean, we're not really expected to attend the reunions, but I couldn't help myself tonight. The past pupils here are just so oh, that's... untrustworthy. Uh... There's a lot of valuable items in the building, paintings and the like. So I think it's wise to keep an eye. I'll be carrying out random searches throughout the night. <laughs> I haven't had a bite since 11. Any sign of Jeanette? Jeanette, hey. Oh, Jeanette Joyce. Formerly O'Shea. Jesus, there is a blast from the past. I completely forgot about her. <laughs> would you like to dance? I actually would. Would you hold this for me? <laughs> <laughs> My God, Sarah. Well, he was there. The night of the school leavers, let's go. He knows. Oh, flashback oh. time. Somebody once said this. The trouble with the English is that they never remember. And the trouble with the Irish is that they never forget. Mm. Wow. Thanks for the lift, Daddy. Who's drinking the night, girls? You hear me? Aye, Daddy. Or smoking? No, Daddy. The no drugs? Of course not, Daddy. The no dancing my boys? No dancing my boys. But it's a disco, Daddy. Oh, you're right. Scratch that. No talking to boys. <laughs> All right, then. Off you go. Are you not heading home now? No, oh, no, love. I better stay put in case there's any bother. You're not going to stay out here till 10 o'clock. Aye, that's madness, Daddy. You should come to the disco with us. Do you have concussion? Jesus, if she was chocolate, she'd eat herself. Have you ever seen anybody more delighted with themselves? Well, she's married to a surgeon, Mary. I'd be delighted too. Why would you go to a high school reunion to ignore everybody? Oh, 15 years I've been nursing in that hospital, not a peep out of him. Can he talk? I mean, he used to talk back when they started going out. Then he just stopped. Why does someone just stop talking? Well, maybe he just ran out of things to say, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe this. Tell him what you are, so go on. This is great. I'm a photographer. No, not that. What's so great about that? He's a gay. Oh, right. Yes, I'm a raging homosexual. This is correct. He is. Seriously? Our daughter's a gay. That's right. <laughs> How is she finding it? All right, I think. How is she finding it? She's not as established as someone like yourself. Uh, she's not fully qualified yet, so to speak. <laughs> the chances of an accidental teenage pregnancy are lowered quite significantly with the lesbian daughter. I'll drink to that. That was a very interesting exchange I was not expecting. Jeanette! 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 <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hey guys. 
I don't know if you know my husband, Richard. He's a surgeon. Hello, Richard. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself, Richard? Not yes or no question. Yeah. Well, look, we are going to go and work the room. We probably won't stay super late because Richard has an early start in the morning because he's a surgeon. Before you head off, son, God, I have a question for you. When you take someone's tonsils out, do you hang on to them? It was so lovely catching up. We should all do brunch sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down. Okay, so I've just been informed that the IRA have mounted a roadblock on the Craig Evans Bridge, which means nobody can enter the school grounds and nobody can leave. What's she ever done? She married a surgeon, Mary. How many times? Imagine if he found out. The summer of 77. The Leavers Disco. That's enough now. All this time, and we haven't said a word. And that's the way it needs to stay. People wouldn't understand, girls. They wouldn't understand. I think we should let sleeping dogs cry. <laughs> Our whole lives we've been told what we can do, what we can wear, where we can go, who we can talk to. For once, let's do something purely because we want to do it. He said, suddenly, I'm feeling punky. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. Not a squeak. Slapping him might work. You're not slapping him, John. I don't want to slap him. I want you to slap him. Then he might slap you back. Uh, <laughs> one second. Uh-oh. Excuse me. What? Well? Impossible. <laughs> that face. was so random. <laughs> Mary, please stop it now before it's too late. About what? About the summer of 77. About the Leavers Disco. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. Will I tell him? Go away, Mary. Or will I show him the photographs? Brad photographed it. Who the f is Brad? Me, I think. <laughs> This is going to get Richard to talk. Come on, girls. To the fairy tree. What the blaze is going on here exactly? I guarantee you Richard's going to talk after he sees whatever they've done. That's sort of the expected thing. This is the place. Help me! For the love of Jesus, what's going on, girls? Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm having a wonderful time. <laughs> Stop it! You want to tell him what we did? No. I'll show him. Richard, I am so, so sorry. What? Oh, it's got, it's got a tattoo? Uh. Every time we look at them, we'll remember this night. I hope in 10, 20, 30 years time that another group of girls find this box. Look at these photographs and say, Jesus, but they must have been a bunch of bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> They're bonded for life or branded. Have you had a tattoo since 1977 and I've never seen it? If the truth came out, our lives would be over. Well, that's not true now, is it, love? Imagine if our girls found out we had these. They think they could do whatever they wanted. We wouldn't have a leg to stand. They should have locked us up and thrown away the key. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even come to my 18th. Because you told Richard we definitely weren't invited. I told Richard you definitely were invited. Richard. Uh -huh. What happened? Richard's great at the surgery. Not so good at the passing on of the messages. You see, this is why I don't talk. It's like a time capsule. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 1977. Jesus, girls, where did that time go? Christ, look at those mics. We had no idea how bad things were going to get. Yeah, the 70s must have been such a fun time to live in music wise. We did all right. That's not us. What? What? Not for God's sake. This must be the wrong tree. Dear Jesus. 
Also, <laughs> didn't the pictures look like that? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, producers or writers or dairy girls always just want a random thing to kind of conclude on. To yeah, just yeah. kind of like have a chuckle at the end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if what I'm about to say is just informed by my experiences, and that's that. Photography's only been around for so long. The mechanics, the technology of photography has only been around since the late 1800s. To me, there is something special about holding a photograph versus just something being in your phone. I don't know why. And that, like, again, I'm, this might just be informed by my experiences growing up because kids 20 years from now might not give a shit about the feeling of holding a photograph in your hand and looking at that. But like, there's something cool about looking at a photograph that you took and printed 20 years ago. Absolutely. And you compare it to like yourself now, like there's something special about that that's hard to put into words. So it's hard to articulate, but maybe, you know, kids 20 years from now just be like swipe 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 that was cool huh and then move on with their day but i don't know that that, that was a, a really nice moment of them even though it was like played for laughs because it wasn't actually them it was a really nice moment of them holding that photograph and kind of observing what they thought was themselves from their youth <laughs> I actually thought this was a very ambitious episode and what I mean by that. We didn't see any of the Dairy Girls other than Aaron and Orla for the first like two or three minutes, but they are not in this episode at all. We got the original Dairy Girls back sure. at the 77. So I thought that was an interesting prospect for an episode and I actually enjoyed it seeing where they came from and seeing so many of their personality traits wear off from their parents. Cause like right away, even if I didn't know the names of the characters, which obviously I do, I would know immediately who's whose daughter just from the way they behave. It was perfect. Castings. I'm like, okay, that's Michelle's mom. Okay, that's Aaron's mom. And and also too, I love the whole uh, thing with uh, Michelle's mom, Dietrich. I think her name is. How she just gets all over her cousin Rob. Just so similar in the way Michelle does it with James. Like, yeah, <laughs> that family exactly just the has. Same. They just have a thing with getting on their cousins. For all of you guys who are watching that are young, on the younger side. At some point, you will see, if you don't already, that you have traits that are like your parents. It's and it's always frightening when you realize, oh God, like this is just like my dad or just like my mom. And you think that you're favoring one parent over the other. And at some point you realize you have traits from both of them. And it's kind of aggravating because <laughs> you've been trying to get away from them, you know, your entire childhood. Yeah. Uh, and then they're just with you the rest of your life. But hopefully you evolve to be a better version of your parents. Yeah. Hopefully. No, no true. And yeah. I... I freaking love that line that they kept on saying like Janet Janet Joyce formerly O'Shea like that is such a meme line for me I just I, I really freaking enjoyed that line that they kept yeah. on going to it it was such a catchy line yeah it was a fun episode overall and yeah. I did notice the lack of the young dairy girls but uh, you're right like you, and I'm glad you pointed that out it's like they're all dairy girls because they're from dairy and so it is nice to see that sort of transition and see what like the similarities of what the young dairy girls went through I mean the the, old, the, the previous dairy girls girls from 77 what they went through and how that kind of mirrors what the current dairy girls are going through it's like it just shows you how long that conflict had been going on yes and yes. how normalized it felt it's like oh yeah there's an ira something something or another outside so we're kind of stuck in here they're not even concerned about the threat of whatever that is they're just like now we're stuck and like it's just it's just an inconvenience because it's so frequent that it happens. I, I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was cool. It was a nice look back. And for those people who were like, you know, you mentioned uh, we didn't get the, the main cast in this episode, really. I think that's why there are seven episodes in this season. Yeah. Because this is sort of like an extra episode, yeah, which yeah. I appreciate. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I agree with you. I mean, if we're not going to get, you know, if we get that extra episode, I'm glad that we at least got a little bit touched because obviously the main focus is always on the normal Dairy Girls that we get to see. So having the focus on the original, where they came from, where they get the personal traits from I, I thought that was like I said it was an ambitious and interesting thing and I'm glad we got to see it yeah you guys thanks so much for hanging out I'm Jabby Kawai this is Andrew Flash Gordon peace out